I think this is, uh, um, so we know how big of a problem Alzheimer's disease is, uh, obviously in, in the state of Tennessee, but all across the country. So there's uh, over 15 million people living with disease, uh, 5 million people living with disease right now. And, and over the next 30 years, it's going to triple to 15 million. And so, uh, so it's, a big, it's a big challenge. And so uh, the approach to such a big problem, especially when it's a disease like Alzheimer's that affects not only the patient, but also the caregivers, has a tremendous impact on the caregivers, is providing, a, uh, providing care in a way that, uh, that involves multiple teams. It's not only the physician, who, of course, makes the diagnosis and, and plans and starts a treatment, but also providing uh, the support to the family and the caregiver, and that includes educational resources, um, the resources for, for care support, uh, and, and so forth. So, so that's going to be fundamental. So the, the approach uh, of this is in a multidisciplinary clinic where you have a team that includes the physicians, nurses, nurse practitioners. Uh, it includes social workers who are fundamental you know, for helping families cope with this, this situation. Um, and uh, uh, we have a, a, actually at the University of Virginia something that we call the Care Coordinator Program, which are people who, who continue to, to be in touch with the patient after you know the, they live a, they leave a, a visit. Uh, they will still connect with them, making sure that anything that needs to happen happens. You know, because uh, uh, sometimes you got to follow with them. And so this kind of approach is, uh, is going to be uh, important for making a difference. The other big aspect of this is, is growing the research uh, uh, work in, in the institution here. And so, as I mentioned earlier, uh, there's been a lot of progress that has been made. Uh, I think we have a better understanding of the things that lead to, to Alzheimer's disease, the processes that occur in the brain that lead to Alzheimer's disease. But there's still a lot that needs to, to be learned. We still don't know exactly what the cause of the disease is, we know that it can present in many different ways, and so uh, um, so we need to do research for understanding the disease, and then also research that will lead to ultimately a cure. Um, and again, we've made progress on that. There are uh, multiple drugs that are being tested that are very promising, uh, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And so, uh, so I think the combination of having a strong multidisciplinary clinic uh, where you're caring for a large population of patients, along with uh, a very strong research community working together, we can make uh, tremendous progress. And and I think uh, University of Tennessee uh, here is is, uh, is very well positioned to, to achieve that. And with the support of the, of the Pat Summit Foundation, the East Tennessee Foundation, and the contributions from countless people who are really uh, very engaged and involved, we're going to truly make a difference.